Yeah, good morning. It's a beautiful Saturday morning here. The sun has come back. We had two or three days of horrible rain, which made me worried, but now it's nice. And uh, it's 64 days after transplanting, so one of our last management decisions to make today, whether we need some more nitrogen fertilizer or not. I have a good old friend with me here, Thomas George, who also is an agronomist and uh, is keen to see what we're doing here. He's been around in Erie in the 1990s, so I'm asking Thomas right away. When you look at our crop here, do you see a difference uh, in the field somewhere? What do you see? Uh, I definitely see a difference. This side is a better crop, more vigorous crop. That side is not bad, but slightly behind. Ah. Yeah. yeah, so that's what we see too. It's this side is the hybrid over here. And it's a, a bit ahead in, in crop development. It's five days ahead basically, so some panicles are shooting out already. So we're getting close to uh, flowering stage yeah, and it seems more vigorous in general. So yeah. we may need some nitrogen and uh, when we made the nutrient management recommendation using our software, our mobile phone application, it told us that uh, the hybrid should receive another 20 kilograms of nitrogen per hectare at this stage to really uh, fully utilize its yield potential. So, so far we have applied about 100 kg on the hybrid and 120 on the inbred, so not much difference. Uh, but it is likely that we need some more because uh, we have set a higher yield target for the hybrid of 7.5 tons versus 7 tons for the inbred. So what I need to do now is basically assess the nitrogen starters in both and then make a decision on what we do in terms of applying the last nitrogen. Yeah, I'm standing in the hybrid and you can see there's uh, the first uh, few panicles shooting out so we're really at that stage where we need to figure out whether a, a little extra nitrogen could support the grain filling and the expression of yield potential. So the way I'm going to do this is uh, uh, using this uh, leaf color chart that was developed uh, many years ago by various research groups so that's the version that was uh, developed about 10 years ago here at Erie and there's four panels and basically uh, what I need to make sure is that on average uh, the crop has at least a color of uh, number three which is this one here if it's less than that then uh, I think there's an indication that extra nitrogen is needed. If it's much more than that, I probably wouldn't need it. You know? So what I have to do is I have to walk through now here and stop at about 10 to 15 places in the hybrid and also the inbred, and then uh, pick a hill that is disease free. That's important. You don't take diseased plants. Yeah? I got to pick a hill that is disease free and uh, I have to take a leaf. I don't rip it off normally, but for showing it, I, I'll do it right now. Yeah, so, and then I put the leaf uh, on this color chart and try to see which of the color uh, it matches best. Yeah, so if you can see that, so this one seems uh, very much uh, close to number three. Would you agree, Thomas? Yeah. Yeah, right? Yeah. So it's definitely not four, definitely not five, definitely not two. Sometimes uh, I interpolate, I say, well, it could be a 3.5, you know, and of course, some precise people might think, you know, why don't we just call it 3.15 or right. 3.27? You know, that makes no sense. Yeah, right. this is a rough indicator. We just want to know are we in the right ballpark, and do we need a little extra nitrogen or not? So I'm going to go ahead now, walk through here at a few places. I will record my observations on this sheet, and then take average. There you go. <laughs> yeah, I see a lot of red damage. Uh, here's a whole patch. Just very fresh, just very recently. You see this is still green, you know? Yeah, that's even last night. Maybe just last night they came in and chewed it off. It's all shot, bit, bitten off here. Yeah, 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 yeah. We're gonna have substantial yield losses. Yeah, because I saw a lot of it everywhere here. Yeah, I just finished my assessment uh, and I'm quite disappointed. Uh, the lock, from the outside the crop looks pretty good, but when you actually walk through I see a lot of problems. Uh, the canopy is not fully closed as much as I wanted, there's gaps. Uh, and the most uh, surprising thing uh, is that 
in the hybrid I see a lot of very fresh rat damage uh, stems being completely cut off that must have happened in the last two or three days I see nothing like this in the inbred so I have no clue why the rats went after the hybrid and left the inbred alone even though it's in the same field so there must be something uh, in the hybrid that makes it taste better or attracts the rats maybe they're a sweeter they have more non-structural carbohydrates or sugars whatever it is I don't know so the only thing that was different in the last three days was that we had a tropical depression going through two or three days of rain I don't know what that uh, whether that inspires the rats to go into the fields I have no clue um, the nitrogen starters uh, the hybrid on average between 2.5 to 3 so I think uh, from a theoretical point of view it's, it's okay to put some extra nitrogen on whether it will make a big difference or not I have some doubts because of the other problems we have in the cro crop now with the rats too the inbred my leaf color chart reading will average about 3 so that should be just about right so I'm not going to put any nitrogen on there so I'll put the urea on and then that's pretty much the last operation we, we can do before harvest and then all we have to do now is hope for the best. No more rats and plenty of sunshine to get at least some good yield out of it.